Duke of Argyle went searching for soldiers to join his army to fight Kiesa. Um And the people of the Highlands said, well, you chose sheep over us people, us farmers, so you get sheep to fight your battles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and hence uh, people like me are, are, are around it and people like you with Scottish names that come through generations ago from these people that were put on the boats and colonised such places as Nova Scotia, etc, etc. Et so this is entitled The Southern Gale. Southern sun. Uh, pieces of information you can share with people down at the local supermarket. You can say, did you know there was a battle between the English and the Scots? This is going back to the 
16th century, so the 1500s, the Scots had to swim across the Esk River in Scotland to do battle with the English at a town called Carlisle. There was about 2,000 Scots. They didn't know what they had to face, but they swam across, sent some scouts up to the top of the hill to purvey the battlefield below. Lo and behold, there was about 10,000 English troops there. Not very good. So, the wise old general sent, um, sent uh, soldiers out to the surrounding towns and gathered as many sets of bagpipes as he could. He ended up with about 100 sets of bagpipes, handed them out to those who play and said, pipe us in, go to the top of the hill and pipe us into battle. So when the English saw there was 100 pipers, they imagined there must have been at least 20,000 Scots, so they turned around and took off back then. <laughs> and that's a true story. So the battle was won without a single sword yeah. being pulled. Here we go, the 100 pipers. And on and on, we're hundred pipes and on and on, we'll up and give them a blow, a blow. We're hundred pipes and on and on, for oh, it's all the water away, away, it's all the water. Look bra, look bra. We've taught in kilts and on and on with bonnets and feathers, with glittering gear and peabrock sounding sweet and clear. Will they all return to the reindeer? Will they all return our highland men? Second sight and sandy. Was swollen, so red, so deep. But side by side, the brave lads keep. Twice a thousand swam to foul English ground and danced them dry to the peabrock sound. Dumbfounded, the English they saw.
Elgin Pipe. Thank you. Okay. We do one more uh, song in this set, and then we uh, take a, an intermission. Because I like to do things in two sets, and I usually do the first set first, and that's followed by the second set. <laughs> I like to keep it in that order because it's very confusing if I don't. <laughs> so we're going to take a 15 minute break after this and um, then I'll be back. And, and the second set is far better than the first. So. And sorry, the gates are locked. Nobody leaves. And, 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 and you can almost dance to this, or you can. This is a modern Scottish song. When I say modern, it's only about 20 years old as opposed to 500 years old, like yeah. most of us are. Yeah. Here we go. I'm on my way for misery to happiness today. Uh-huh. I did. A short break, back in a few minutes. If you're interested, I'll have Steve Higgs over there for sale. Yeah, Thank you. Hey, Michael, everybody here. Yeah. 
Hey, folks, how'd that go? Yeah, that was a great first set. What about that, man? Very good. So, yeah, folks, no, no doubt. Hey, we've got some great music over here. Uh, make your way over, check out what he's got. And, um, I mean, there's just a little bit of everything over there. And if, if it's in your style, go get it. Um, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. So, hey, there's more wine, more beer, more cheese, more fun. Do you want it?